Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Thea the Awakening. We've got our uh, Wool Gatherers uh, team out here, uh, trying to work their way up this way, but we're out of movement, so let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh, hi, bees. Not the bees! Uh, six range damage, good quality? Sure, I'll take that. Plus one, plus one. And some unliving rats. Auto resolve. That's pretty cruddy. Okay, we got some iron. Let's keep moving you guys up this way. And down here. All right, let's do it. You approach the lair of the Umbridge Lord, and it is suitably steeped in grim darkness and stale, musty air. In an underground chamber stands a large figure, barely humanoid, made of pure darkness. Approach the Umbridge Lord. The weatherer appears at your side, ready to assist you. The two giants stare at each other, but say nothing. Okay, the weatherer is joining us for this fight. Class, mythical. Mythical creatures are those few who defy any other label. They are big, they are old, and they are powerful. Behold their wrath and treasure their friendship. So, 444 health, 156 will, 38 speech, 78 intelligence, 121 strength. Sorry, Ashley. Uh, we have a new person who is uh, um, surpassing you. Blunt damage, 11 leech, 32 perception, 29 tactics, 8 magic, 22 dexterity, 4 herbalism, 6 shielding, 3 medic, 123 damage, 1 range damage, 444 armor, and 22 stealth. That is pretty insane. I don't think that he would stay with us after this thing, uh, but no point in talking time to kill this creature. Fight for a five red skull fight, where we can let the weatherer speak. You may have allowed the darkness to take your soul, but you are still one of my flock, and you will submit to me now. Let's do a social challenge. So we are going to be against one Umbridge Lord, one Mroki, one Unliving Giant, two Shadow Creatures, three Shades. It's just auto resolve. No, kidding. Um, so clear mind is uh, the piercing. Let's go. I don't think that my confuse, my counter tactics, or counter offense are gonna do much good in here. I feel like you should not be here, sir. <laughs> On the other hand, that support ally is a lot better than that. You know what? You know what? I think that you supporting us is going to be a little bit better. How are we looking at... Uh, this. Uh, it's not a whole lot of damage, though. Yeah, Crumpet's only going to be able to support Ally a little bit. All right, let's keep him playing. I get to go first. Level 71. Hmm. That's pretty good. Let's hope the other guy is not piercing. Because that would be pretty bad. All right, well, uh, Kijikun has probably the best health here. Eight. Um, Orin is pretty close. On the other hand, uh, Callistes has the best damage. So let's do that. Support ally. And then let's get out Kijikun. Okay, the Umbridge Lord. 
Level 77. I need to first action a bunch of people to take out that shade so that we can take out the Umbridge Lord, hopefully with that massive damage from Callistes. Alright, so, first actions. What do we got? Eleven. There's a five. A five is not going to do us any good. Uh, nine. That will be good. There's a Twenty-nine support ally from Kilkaton. Oh my god. Support ally 19. First action of 7, that'll help. First action of 14. Okay. Now, I don't know how powerful the Maroki is going to be. Now, the Umbridge Lord has no shielding. If I put down G-Man, I'll do some damage so that eventually Callistes will get a little bit of extra damage in. Right now, Callistes is doing 100. I'll go up to 103, so then I only need to do 60. Well, a little bit less, actually, because... Boom, we have injured you. Okay, your first action is useful... Yours is not, so support ally. So that's 23. Your first action is useful. There we go. There we go. We've got 52 damage there. So G-Man would take that one out. Okay. Ouch. The shadow creature is in. Do I have any 7? I do have a 7 first action. So let's go ahead and bump you up. Okay. Now we are going to get hit pretty hard by this thing. That thing would take out Kijikun unless I can shield ally. I could. Well, it... Hmm. Let's hold off um, on that too much. So I'm not going to really be able to do much uh, with piercing damage against that shadow creature. The Maroki is going to be really tough too, I'm sure. I don't know what it does. In fact, it may have already done. I don't know. Um... Okay, so... You've got 12, you've got 9, you've got 13, you've got 13. We've got more potential for extra damage from Reiterin. So I would like to get you going first. Uh, do I have a first action that works on 14? I do. Good. Alright. So... Reiterin, get out. And support out. Okay, shadow creature is out. Not too tough. All right. Island, we can't do a whole lot, so I think that. Uh, Port. Do a little bit of extra support. And then with the 14, let's go ahead and first action you with X Gemini. Okay. Uh, next up, we've got uh, 11. Okay, so um, Orin is not going to be able to be first actioned. Orin doesn't do a whole lot of damage anyway, so that's okay. Um, I don't think the first action on Katrina would be all that great. First action on Elevi would be okay with that 10 damage. 
little bit better than Katrina. Also, Crow with that 12 and 1 is pretty good. Although, on the other hand, Crescens with this extra 7 would be really good. All right. We can first action you. But that's not going to be until next round. Okay, you got a bit of a boost. That's unfortunate. But, uh... Crescens, you will be uh, the next one going up. You know what? Since this is a social challenge, if people go down, they go down. It's not that big of a, a deal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and support Ally. Let's see what you end up doing. Hopefully there's no... Okay, the Unliving Giant, not too bad. That is a pretty powerful card, though. Okay, so I can do two. Uh, let's go ahead and first action you. And I am going to shield ally. Just give Kijikun a little bit of extra. Okay. I think that uh, Crow we should put down as... Well, actually, no, not Crow. Um, Elevy would be the best the best one to be at the, the the first taking any hits that come after here. Or perhaps uh, Oren. I don't know. Yeah, It's not that big of a deal at the moment. Alright, so I can first action two more people. Let's see. So with the 9 and 11, 11 will work on anyone except Oren. The 9 will work on anyone other than Eagle Claw and Lysane. Alright, so... Eagle Claw and Lysane. Lysane is going to be the better choice for first actioning with Cast Iron Dude. But Lysane doesn't have any particular bonus effect. So having Lysane go first and getting some damage... Uh, but that's that would just take care of the defense there. That wouldn't actually help, so that wouldn't matter too much. Uh, hmm. Okay, so at that point, it doesn't matter too much. Alright, so I'm going to have Elevy at the end, and probably followed by Orin. Um... So yeah, let's uh, let's get Lysane out and then Crow. So Crow first. Oh, oh, out of cards. Okay, Shade is out. All right, so Crow, you will get first actioned and then Lysane, first actioned. Elevy, Oren. I suppose I could have you put you out to do some a little bit of damage, but it's a little bit late now. Oh well. Wouldn't have been that much anyway. There's no bludgeoning on these guys at least. Alright, let's go. Let's see how this goes. There we go. Umbridge Lord is down. Kijikun is almost down. Elevi is almost down. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That Maroki. We're going into a second round. Okay. Oh, let's just keep in play. Uh, we have the... Oh, and you are not even doing anything. Alright. Well, we got the weatherer here. E 
you know, there's only two cards. The Maroki is confused. I'm going to I'm going to pass. Go ahead and put down your your other one. Okay. So, that is confused. That one can do something. This one will take out the shade. And then we just put down you know, and the, sh and the weather will not be in, you know, like, effectively uninjured by these guys, even if we don't get through that. So, uh, the weather will take out the shade. And next up, we will have Cast Iron Dude. We'll support opponent. Support opponent. Or support ally, whatever. Support ally. Support ally. Support ally. Support ally. Support ally. <laughs> Why not? 175 damage. That's, that seems pretty good, right? Just everyone come on out. There we go. There we go. Very nice. The Umbridge Lord whirls around angrily for a time, but then he grows subdued, and eventually he kneels down before the weatherer. The shadow speaks. Yes, master. I feel your power, and I will obey. The weatherer nods. Good. You will stop this madness at once, and you will help me restore balance to our kin and to fear. Thank you, my little friends. You have done a great deed in helping me. Didn't lose a single card in that. That was pretty fun. Alright, well, we lost the weatherer. Understandable. Uh, you're welcome. So, what now? Now the giants will not disappear overnight, nor will their damage heal quickly. But in time, I will guide my flock back into their natural slumber. And I will have one of my planet nicks join you and help rebuild what was destroyed. Ooh, 292 health, 69 will, 30 speech, 30 intelligence, 69 strength, blunt damage, 7 perception, 10 leech, 21 attractiveness, 15 dexterity, Four gathering, six magic, two craft, uh, two tactic, uh, bleh, five tactics, one craft, seventy damage, two hundred ninety-two armor, and fifteen stealth. Good help is welcome. Twenty XP, five research points. Achievement unlocked. Diplomat. Achievement unlocked. Storyteller. All right. That uh, gets us uh, about halfway to level 3. Total knowledge points awarded, 632. Success for finishing the, the Giant's Quest. Success for finishing the uh, God's Duty Quest. And... I think we'll keep playing just to see what that character actually looks like. And what we can... We can equip anything on it. It can carry 3,450 on its own. Oh my god, this is amazing. And you will be, uh... You'll be Tyrant Thraxus. The, the second time we faced you. Um... Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Yeah, let's go with that. There we go. All right, well, um... That makes for quite the amazing, uh, character. Like, <laughs> I mean, there's no way for us to first strike this character, or first action this character at all. 
Um, but with the 18 stealth, he can get uh, just about anyone else first, uh, giving them a first move. He's got 10 leech. With the 30 intelligence, he can add a lot of damage. The three, look at the armor. It has to get so tiny. Wow, this is, uh, this is still a pretty amazing character to have. I want to go find something to uh, fight. Before I do that... Yep, <laughs> we, got, we got a giant in the group. Oh, that's pretty amazing. Uh, the undead filth must be slain now. Let's begin combat. Oh, look at that. And he's in that that group. Player's turn. Mmm. 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 Too good. Too good. You know what? Crumpet, you get out too. And then we will go with uh, Kilkakon. <laughs> See what you decide to do. Yeah, you're uh, not going to really be uh, doing that much there. Let's get you out. I'm not even going to use the uh, the piercing to do early damage. Now, I mean, if, if you look at Ashley, 72 damage, 24 shielding, 13 poison, 4 leech... Ashley actually does more damage than the planet, Nick. <laughs> Just kind of insane. There we go. Next one out. I mean, it is definitely possible to lose characters still, but, I mean, with this, there's, I don't think there's any way that we could lose any uh, combat fights with this team. It's just a matter of how much damage we take. Boom! Two in one go. Crumpet takes out one. Ah, oh, it's pretty amazing. I got a decent, uh... <laughs> I could totally give the planet Nick, uh, um... Light steps. Give him piercing and sneak and hunt challenges. <laughs> Seems kind of wrong. He's, he's a light... He's light on his feet. For a giant. Alright, well, um... I mean, we've got the suspicious tower, but that's, like, so many of the other events, and... I mean, there's a lot of other events that we have not encountered, but I think a lot of those end up being related to um, the various uh, different deities and stuff like that. Um, but we have gotten all three of the victories. That will get us uh, through to Know Thy Enemy, all your villagers getting plus two bonus to folklore and animal kinship, plus three to animal kinship, and then we'll it would unlock level 3, I think. But I'm not positive. Go ahead and take a turn to see if anything happens. Yeah, giant, just murder them, please. Thanks. Oh, we can see what, uh, what he leveled up with. That's that. Gained two dexterity. <laughs> 19 dexterity, 21 stealth. Hmm. It's a very stealthy giant. It's a very stealthy giant. But, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up uh, this campaign of Thea the Awakening. I had a lot of fun. This was the first time that I've uh, really played it. Um, I have watched it played before, however. Um, so it wasn't totally new to me. Uh, I did know some things. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And, uh, it sounds like uh, everyone has enjoyed watching it uh, who has been doing so. So I, I appreciate that. Um, but we are going to 
I'm going to call this one here and, uh, you know, with a victory. And I suppose I can current score. So I guess it's not technically going to be into level three. I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and end the game and we'll see what we get. Uh, doing this does mean that we cannot go back to this, so that's it. Uh, I do think that this will periodically show up in uh, streams at this point, because uh, it's a lot of fun, and uh, there's a lot of replayability, especially with the other gods. So I'm going to go ahead and end the game here. This will end the current game, and you will see the summary of your efforts. After this, there is no going back. Yep, that's good. That's fine. I don't think there's uh, anything else to do. I mean, we have only experienced 21.59% of events, but I'm pretty sure a lot of these end up being um, god-specific. So I don't think you're ever really supposed to get, like, 50% or 75% or even 100% on a single playthrough. Um, this is our score, so let's go ahead and uh, end the game. Achievement unlocked. Awakened. And so you have learnt that the Cosmic Tree was destroyed by man, and with it burned the cosmic balance in Thea. As a result, the darkness took its cold grip upon the world. But you have also learnt that not all is as simple as it seems. Upon hearing the plea of the Night Children, all those who were long ago deemed dark and undesirable, you understood that it was time for a new Thea, one that would no longer draw a line between its peoples. At last, not one based on their tolerance... At least, not one based on their tolerance for sunshine. And so, you have aligned yourself with these night rebels to maintain the dusk, a state between absolute darkness and the return of light. And together, you will forge a new destiny for mankind. Upon finding the last remaining hope, the seed of the cosmic tree, you bested the master tri tri trickster's may, and took the seed from its clutches. You then hid the seed in an enchanted box to be kept safe and untouched for eternity. In the centuries to come, the transition will not be an easy one. Many creatures that rely on the sun's power for life will perish. Will perished? Yes, but more of them will simply change, evolve into something new. The Elder Ones, Elves, will take the brunt of the change, and their kind will dwindle and wither away until they become but a whisper. Which is kind of sad, considering how many Elves I had in the party at that point. And yet, despite much loss, those who will choose to survive on, to adapt and accept the changes. Those survivors shall thrive and become a new force in Thea. None of the peoples of Thea will remain unchanged, and so a new world will be born, but one that will become the master of the darkness, and not its victim. Your village will continue to thrive and grow. It will likely meet many trials and tribulations, but whatever becomes of it, you have secured the future of Thea and of mankind. You guided your people to solve the mystery of your own divine fate, and discover how your godly powers were assaulted. You found the culprits, the scholars from the Grand University of Cracovia. Hmm. Uh, arrogant enough... I don't remember if we heard the name Cracovia, but whatever. Arrogant enough to challenge the Pantheon, and you learnt of their mad plan to strip away divine influence from Thea. Your worshippers were brave and worthy enough to face many challenges in your name, and prove themselves true champions of the Pantheon. Your champions chose to challenge tradition and reshape the face of the Pantheon. You will now claim your place as the only, the supreme deity of the new Pantheon, and you will guide your divine family and your worshippers into a new era. In their mortal existence, your champions will likely not bear witness to your full rebirth, but in time, the Pantheon will stand anew, and you will take your rightful play new place on the throne. The fate of Thea may yet change. Humanity's path will take its twists and turns, but thanks to your brave champions, you will have the power to help your people along the way, whatever road they chose. The return of the giants. In the old days, the giants hummed their everlasting songs of life, and thus they gave their power to Thea, shaping the mountains, the rivers, and all lands. Gentle and wise, the builders walked the lands in peace until came the time of the little folk. The ancient wondrous creatures became a danger for their smaller kin, and so, with the aid of the Elder Forces, the Giants began be their eternal slumber. In the state of ever dreaming, their song of life would continue to keep Thea whole, but also keep the little ones safe. Alas, when the pillars of the world fell, the cosmic tree burnt, all the laws of Thea crumbled into pieces. During the long night, the darkness devoured the lands and extinguished almost all life before the miraculous return of the sun. But unknown to anyone, it also seeped into the dreams of the giants, slowly corrupting their hearts, minds, and souls. 
Thus the Umbridge Lord, a creature of pure chaos and destruction, was born and awakened to wreck... wreck devastation? Should we wreak devastation onto Thea once more. Even after the sun's return, even if the cosmic tree's power was restored, the rise of the giants could undo it all and thrust the lands right back into despair. Just as the Song of Life once gave peace to Thea, so it now had the power to shatter it into pieces. But you, a deity sworn to protect your people, you stood up to the growing darkness, and you guided your followers to face the Umbridge Lord and his shadow minions. As ever, the future remains unclear. Who knows what dangers still lurk behind the veil? But for now, the giants have been tamed once more, and with a bit of luck, you'll survive long enough for them to fall into their slumber once more. And that takes us back to uh, the menu. If we choose a new game, we have unlocked uh, quite a few new deities. Um, I don't remember who was uh, unlocked before. Uh, I had uh, Morena and maybe it was uh, Zoria. I'd have to go back to look at the original episode. Uh, dual goddess of the morning and evening stars, the Aurora, and the guardian of the world devouring hound, Simargul. When the darkness came, you chose to fall down from the skies and use what power you had left to protect your worshippers. Now the sun is back, but only a few of your people remain, hungry, weakened, and scared. It is time to rise up, whip your men and women into shape, and have them fight for their future. Uh, so we get uh, stellar education. Your people are driven to succeed and impress their goddess. They gain experience faster. If we choose uh, Horos, uh, the lord of the night and master of the moon. But even you were struck down when the cursed darkness came and stole your mantle. Creatures of the night that were once yours now serve you no more. The sun and the moon have returned, and so now is the time to strike back, to take what was yours and guide your human worshippers into a better future. Uh, Nightcrawlers, during night turns, all your villagers get a plus one bonus to damage and plus two ranged damage. Uh, if we get up to level two, Shadow Dwellers, all your villagers get a plus two bonus to stealth. Zora, Zoria is uh, plus one bonus to damage and plus one to ranged damage. Uh, with, Mo uh, with Morena, now if we choose to play as Morena again, we will get Know Thy Enemy. All your villagers get a plus two bonus to folklore and a plus three to animal kinship, as well as advanced education. All your villagers get a plus one bonus to medic and plus two to tactics. If we can get up to level four, the pen, mightier than the sword. You receive six basic gadgets to aid you in your struggles. And we have unlocked uh, Leda. All was nothingness, quiet and calm, warm and serene, but lonely. For a time, you were cuddled in a dark cage. Then one day you woke. Carried on the first ray of light, you touched a single silver seed, and you knew that hope was born. A small starving group of people called out to you in their last hour of need. You have answered, becoming Lada, the goddess of hope, beauty, love, and joy. Now you must lend your guiding hand to those who worship you, and make sure Thea hears your message. And... With Lada, we gain the power of hope. Your people gather and research faster. And the power of love. All of your villagers gain plus two will, plus one intelligence, and plus three health. That's pretty nice. Uh, what I will probably do, because um, I've had a lot of fun playing it, I will probably end up playing some off-screen games before I next decide to play it for the channel. Uh, again, as I said, probably for a stream. So, I will end up just probably playing uh, some of these other ones just to try to get some of them also up to, like, level 3 kind of thing. Um, don't know what else we get, but uh, it could be a lot of fun. And, you know, we'll be, uh, we'll be back to revisit Thea. Also, um, the sequel, although I think it might be a prequel. I don't know. I haven't I haven't looked too much into it uh, yet. Um, but it's in early access right now, so when it's uh, officially released, I will probably uh, choose to play it as well. Um, haven't really spoken to anyone who's played the early access yet, but uh, um, I've seen... It. The, the artwork looks pretty, uh, pretty spiffy. I do enjoy that. Uh, the, the look that they're giving it. Um, but, uh, I haven't really looked into it beyond that. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, I certainly did, and, um, I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play. See you later, everyone.